Hey everybody. So this is a uh, Skullapendra Heroes uh, Castaniceps uh, Heroes Heroes Blotched Color Form Cross. Uh, as you can see, has the long terminal legs indicative to uh, poly or to uh, Heroes, and it also has the ring furrow. But that's something that uh, Heroes and Polymorpha have. This video is mainly for comparison. Um, we're gonna move on. This is a uh, Rio Grande uh, variant Polymorpha. Shorter terminal legs, uh, indicative of Polymorpha, uh, but longer than some Polymorpha I see. Uh, this is a California patternless variant, uh, somewhat stubby terminal legs. We're going to compare it real quick with a Scolopendra Heros Arizonensis. Let me see, let me put this in between right here. Okay, so this is size comparison and obviously terminal leg comparison. So as you can see, the uh, patternless is quite huge, uh, just as big as the uh, Arizonensis there. Uh, you can see um, terminal leg length is a little different. Uh, this one obviously has longer terminal legs than the uh, Polymorpha patternless variant. Something interesting about this variant, of course, is size though. Um, very, very big. I'm going to show you a excessively large Texas variant polymorpha. These are uh, thought to be pretty big actually. This is a five inch individual, very big for a Texas. Um, these sometimes are a rusty red color, uh, but sometimes it's lighter color too. As you can see it is uh, kind of dwarfed in size by the uh, patternless and uh, of course by the heroes. The heroes is rather large in comparison. This is a typical uh, average polymorpha size you see in a lot of variants. Arizona, Texas, uh, most of the southwest actually. Now this is about the size you see the Rio Grande's getting and uh, very rarely these patternless ones are found in uh, California which are pretty huge. Um, I think they're different than the regular polymorpha. I think there's a uh, couple species there that are not recognized. Um, let me move this over here. Here we go. Now I'm going to set you on the heroes again. I'm going to pull out a centipede here for you guys to see. Bring it in my hands. This is a uh, Scolopendra polymorpha. Stubby legs, obviously. Indicative of a polymorpha. Let me turn it around and get it in my other hand so I can hold the camera correctly. This is a little tricky. Okay, so there we go. Let me try to get it to focus here. So obviously thicker than the Scolopendra um, Heroes we have here. Scolopendra Heroes has the long skinny terminal legs versus the fat stubby ones. I do believe this is a California variant polymorpha. I know it came out of California, but I, I believe it is an actual polymorpha versus the next ones I'm going to show you, which I have my doubts about. I do not believe them to be polymorpha at all. I believe them to be something entirely different, um, likely a Heroes variant. Give me a second. I'm just waiting for it to calm down. And then you got to be quick. Close the lid there. Okay, now it's okay. Had its antenna caught for a second there. Alright, so now I'm going to show you another one. This is the California, but uh, I believe this to be a Heroes because as we see, this came from the same locality as that last one I showed you, but look at the terminal legs. Much, much longer and skinnier and then the uh, second to last set of legs is long too. This is very similar to Scolopendra Heroes as you can see. The body shaping, the longer legs, all that. This has the shorter legs which is a little funny. I see this happening in New Mexico variants too. Some babies look like this and then some of the bigger ones have the longer terminal legs. Um, I'm actually thinking, uh, I have a few Theories. I won't go over them now. Uh, I will in later videos as my work progresses on this. Um, that 
we have a big discrepancy in Polymorpha and Heroes, um, and Astacorum for that matter. I'm going to move on here. This is a California variant uh, Polymorpha, allegedly. Um, that's what we assume it, it to be, right? So we'll move a lid out here. Let's look at those terminal legs. Those are pretty long. Those are not like these short, stubby terminal legs we see here. These are more like Arizonensis terminal legs. So, what's going on here uh, taxonomically with all these specimens? I'm going to move on. This is a female I got from a friend. He wasn't caring for it correctly, uh, but this is a Rio Grande Polymorpha. This is about the average size of the adult females I'm seeing. Let me move this. So, pretty good size. Not quite as big as that patternless one, but big for a polymorpha. Um, larger uh, than, let's see, Texas variant. Big Texas variant, average uh, New Mexico female. Um, we'll compare it to patternless too, just for you guys' entertainment. There's that, and there's a patternless. Pretty comparable in size. The patternless is a little longer. This one's in better health now that I've been taking care of it. We'll put the lid back on here. And I'll move on to another specimen. So, this is a, another California polymorpha. Um, this has about medium terminal legs, oddly enough. They're not super long, they're not stubby, and they're quite different from uh, the Heroes and from the uh, Polymorpha terminal legs. Quite different indeed. So, I'll go ahead. This is what uh, I'm dubbing the Turquoise Stripe Polymorpha. I do have the ones that are Blue Ghost. They're uh, a bit darker in coloration. They're these ones of course but uh, those I mean all these kinda are showing uh, characteristics of Astacorum or Heroes as I believe Astacorum actually is um, this one is definitely what they would call Astacorum oddly enough it has the uh, red head like a polymorpha very long terminal legs just like uh, heroes here. Actually long legs in general. All the legs are longer. This is of course much smaller than this because this is older. This one just molted. Um, but this is definitely not showing characteristics of polymorpha just like that uh, blue ghost specimen I showed you over there. These are very unique specimens. This one I'm going to not sell. I'm going to raise it for sure. Most of these I'm not selling actually, the blue ones. Uh, and I'm going to try to cross them, or maybe not even cross, just breed them with other heroes. Because that's what I do believe they are. I, I think that this little one right here is definitely a polymorpha, but I don't think that these are polymorpha. I know that, you know, that's a polymorpha. But you know what? Taxonomically, these could be all closely related. Polymorpha heroes, everything. Alright. Let's see, I think that's basically all my specimens I wanted to go over with you. So, uh, yeah, let's do one last quick comparison of size, just so you all can see. Scolopendra Heroes, Arizonensis, Scolopendra Polymorpha, um, California, Northern, Scolopendra Polymorpha, Texas again, and then, uh, oh, that's a baby. Let me pull out this one and put it over there. And the blue polymorpha with longer terminal legs from California. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know uh, what your thoughts on this ordeal is. Um, go ahead and comment, share, subscribe. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. You all have a wonderful night.